Give me leaves and pour on this little dude and back welds made. We look at the highs and the lows of building a season two correct hero car. All right, I'm gonna do a uh, yeah, just a walk around. So it is night time here at Warren Customs, and I do not have my handy dandy stick to do uh, my recordings. So we have the Mustang here behind me, and let's do a walk around on it here. Got the gems. Of the truck the seam was a little bit deeper from the factory than what we wanted so we went back and filled it in just a little bit pretty much just took filler rubbed it out with our finger and then blocked it down uh, didn't put a lot in there I wouldn't advise trying to fill these completely up with filler because it'll just crack and come back out so like I said we just kind of smoothed up the edge on that and uh, this is a direct to metal primer uh, we didn't need the uh, the thicker higher build polyester primer on on this area here because the customers kind of wanting to retain a as factory as possible look so the fillers left or not the filler but the seam sealers kind of left well you can see it kind of grungy looking I guess more factory look and this gem is ready I haven't done anything with the, the edges on the uh, fenders yet. We've just got the door off. All the interior still got to come out. And there that door is. The uh, hood is blocked. I got these really cool banners from Silver Sport Transmissions. They've got the uh, Kibby Lee. There's some Kibby Lee parts. Kibby Lee is actually outside right now. So uh, here's the lower filler panel. Got it primed and blocked. Had a few little places we had to skim back over. Uh, here's the other door. And it's ready to be trimmed out. So what my plan is, cause of time and space and the color, I'm going to trim out the doors, trim out the jams, then go back and there we can get the car in the picture. Trim out the doors, trim out the jams, put the doors back on. I'm gonna paint the hood and the trunk off and then jam those out because I can get all of that pretty much in the in the booth at the same time. The reason I'm going at that, at that route or that way is because of the color. Uh, we've done some trimming out on it and it's a real tedious touches color uh, a little bit of variation in the air pressure or the way you apply it and it kind of changes the tint of it so that makes me a little leery of painting everything apart and then putting it together uh, so I'm going to try and, and do it this way so we can get a better color match and that way we don't have a dark door and a light car kind of thing and uh, we may even go as far as to trim it all out and then put it all together and and paint it paint it together and then come back and buff out any any overspray or any rough edges on the jams so that's where we're at right now um i'll do some more here in a second probably or probably tomorrow or the next day maybe with the kibby lee do a walk around on it and uh that's where we're at so far so uh, what we got going on now is uh, working on our 66 Mustang, trimming it out a little bit, and uh, I'll take you in there and walk you through on uh, how we're trimming it out. Alright, so what we've got here so far is, uh, I know it looks kind of crude, but we're just going to jam it out. 
I've got uh, probably about two coats of cedar on it, and then we'll come back and spray uh, three coats of base, and then we'll nib it or get any trash out of it, any little pieces of lint and stuff like that in between coats. We'll do three coats of uh, base, and then uh, we'll come back and apply three coats of uh, 2021 PPG clear. Here's the door. This part here is primer. It's not really going to matter because we're going to come back and we tape it off along this edge, just like factory. And all of this here will be painted flat black. And then the rest of the rest of the door gets painted from the factory. This didn't have any paint whatsoever right here at all. It was just bare metal all the way across. Had a pretty good coat of surface rust. So. What we'll do is, uh, we've got all this stuff, once we get it trimmed out, we'll uh, take and put the doors back on, and then we'll, we're on like 220 grit on the primer right now. We'll cut it on down to a 400, and then we'll seal the whole car and paint, paint the whole car at one time. Uh, gonna do the trunk and the deck layer, trunk and the hood, gonna do those two parts off the car. Uh, reason I'm jamming it out the way I am is because I'm afraid the color is it's uh, real tedious as far as if you don't get just the right amount of coats in between panels it looks like it's just a hair off and I'm afraid I'll get that with my doors if I do my doors off and my jams and all that uh, the hood and the uh, and the trunk I'm not as worried about those simply because I know I'm gonna get more material because I'll be spraying, spraying down. They'll be laying flat, uh, and plus I'll do those in here. Uh, I can have those in here with the car whenever I spray the car. And the way it is, I can't do two doors, a hood, a trunk, and the car all in the booth at the same time. Because the booth's just not big enough. Uh, if there's any other color, I wasn't really afraid of it. I'd paint it a panel at a time or or in, in different sections and stuff like that, put it all back together. But uh, I'm just a little bit leery of this color here, how it's wanting to behave. And uh, so that's that's the way we're gonna do this one. And I'll come back here in a minute and I'll show you the uh, base coat. All right, we got the uh, first coat of base on and we'll go in there and take a look at it. Shut the base off. Yeah, I don't have a cameraman. You're looking at him. Okay. Here's the first coat. Looking pretty good. Still wet. If you're wondering why we didn't pull the fenders off and just do the whole entire car jammed out and apart like that. So we was trying to save just a little bit of money on removing the front fenders. Uh, the only reason the car is getting this in-depth of a restoration is because of the paint that was on it was bubbling. And the reason it was bubbling was because of uh, surface rust in under it. So it had surface rust and they didn't sandblast it. They just DA'd over it the best they could. and. Uh, primed it and went on about their business, painted it, and it looked great. And it looked great for, I don't know, I'm gonna guess probably 10, 15 years. And then uh, our owner that's got it now bought it, and uh, here we are. Had to take it down and sandblast all the panels and get the surface rust off of them, e-coat them, epoxy coat them, prime them, uh, polyester prime back over and block them. It kind of showed you that whole entire spill. And uh, I'll bring you back in here, maybe on the last coat uh, and the clear coat. Okay, so we got three coats of clear on. And go in here, let you see how it Mm 
And then the little bit of texture that is in that is actually cast into it. I don't know if it'll pick that up or not. There it is, you can see it now. Camera picking it up. That green that's in it. So it gives it a little bit of a orange peel effect. So what I'll do now is uh, come back and tape this in the morning and uh, we'll tape it off, paint the flat black on the doors, put the doors back on the car and uh, move on to the next stage which will be sanding the car down to a finer grip and then we'll paint the car. Okay, all I've simply done was run around the edge of it. Everything to this edge over will be flat black. And it just cruises right around through here. I'm going to say this is factory. That's supposed to be done. Just because that's the way this car was whenever I took it apart. And uh, we'll get that all clean it up. Anyhow, we'll get that sprayed flat black. Get it, get it papered off. We don't want to get any paint on, on any of this. I'm actually rather to paint color before I do the black because had I done the black and I had it taped up all of these holes and everything if it had bled through anywhere in the base we might have had the metallic on top of the black and plus when you cleared it you would have had a much thicker harder line than you will when we just spray this right here. Thank you very much. Is the camera look good? Did y'all put on the new antenna yet? No. So, there you have it. We've got her sprayed and. No, it's not botchy, it's just a lot. Not sure if that is an exact replica, replication, recreation, whatever you want to call it, of what came on it from the factory. But it looks pretty darn good. I like it. Customer likes it. That's all that matters. All right. So we've got our uh, doors trimmed out, jammed out. Uh, we've got the uh, interior black sprayed. We used SEM on it. And now we're fixing to mount the door back on the car. And for the do-it-yourselfer, I wish I had something that was very helpful. I used to just have to use a floor jack. And uh, 
you know, do it the best I could. But now, what I've got is, I don't even know what this thing's called. It's all aluminum. The ones that I have seen are all steel. Uh, let's see. It's a Shelby. Cool. But anyhow, you've got your door on this little dude and you can just roll it right up here and uh, pretty much put it on. Ah, not a whole lot to it. See if I can lay that right there. No, I have not purchased a tripod yet. <clears throat> Not exactly sure how much these cost on, uh, you can get them. I don't know about this particular brand. I haven't seen it anywhere, but I know you can pick these up on probably Eastwood or uh, some of the, the body shop sites. I had to get my alignment tool. Should have got that before I even started. Amazing. It goes right in there once you line it up. Great thing about this, if you're by yourself, it makes it even better. But even if you got somebody to help you, it makes it better. So there's the bolts. We'll touch up the heads on them. They're in. We'll start our final adjustments on it. And we've got our striker in. Got that in. No, this is not a hard line. You don't have to worry about that wet sanding that out and it leaving a mark. But uh, it's fixing to be a little closer, minute by minute, to having this together. All right, so the door is on. It's lined up. I did have trouble with it, and uh, I did something that, or I didn't do something that I usually always do. For whatever reason, I guess I was getting the camera and didn't think anything about doing it. I did not clean out the threads. So uh, they all went in fine except one. I kept having trouble with it. That's when I finally turned the camera off. We didn't clean it out. Put the door on, leave it split, it is on, and it, and it works. <clears throat> so, there we have, let it focus in. There it is, slashed. It's real close from the factory when we took it apart he didn't want any filler to make the lines perfect he just wanted it took apart and put together exactly the way it was so that's exactly what we did so on this one a lot of the panels aren't going to line up just perfect and the gaps aren't going to be just perfect there's going to be a little bit of flaw just because there was from the factory but any of the who there's that now we'll move on to the next one and uh, I've cleaned the threads out on it already. So we shouldn't have no problems with it.